So I just got the chance of installing iPadOS 18 on the oldest supported iPad that is supported on this version of software. And what was pretty crazy to me was that this was actually a much better version of software than I actually thought. iPadOS 18 brought a lot of stuff to the table, but iPad, but the iPad that is the oldest supported one on iPadOS 18 right now is the iPad 7 generation. This is, I guess, technically the oldest one you can buy, this one or the iPad 9, which is actually pretty interesting because as you kind of take a look at it, there's a lot of very interesting stuff going on with this particular iPad. The iPad 7 generation came out many, many years ago, and the fact that this particular iPad is still getting this version of software is actually very, very cool. This iPad came out in 2019, and like I said, this and the iPad mini 5 came out basically the same exact year, but this is the oldest standard iPad that Apple basically made. And although, the, you know, this thing wasn't like the, the latest and greatest even when it first came out, I'm gonna be honest, the iPad Pros were much better than this thing. And this was actually one of the first iPads that we actually got that was after the big redesign in 2018. So this in and of itself was another very interesting thing going on for this particular iPad as well. Now within iPadOS 18, this particular device has a lot of stuff going on with it. And there's a lot of new and cool features that we have with it too, which makes me very happy of buying an iPad like this. Now here's the craziest thing about the iPad 7. This device basically has essentially the same exact chipset as the iPhone 7 Plus. So the fact that this particular device has the same exact chipset as the 7 Plus, has the same amount of RAM as the 7 Plus, and is still on the you know, current version of software, is actually very, very crazy to me. And you would never think that an iPad like this is still getting these types of updates and these types of changes and these types of you know features within this next version of software. Stability-wise, everything's been pretty basic. It's been pretty good. There really hasn't been anything super crazy that I experienced with this particular device that I noticed was super bad or super out there, super crazy. It was a really good version of software, like I said before, when it first came out. And I still think there's still a lot of good you know capability behind it. And with this particular iPad, it's still very good as well. So I will say, although there's a lots of issues and lots of things that Apple still needs to kind of address and fix within, so although there's a lots of things that Apple still needs to fix within iPad OS 8, it's looking to me that this is a very good starter version of this particular software. And even on the oldest particular iPad, I think things are still holding up fairly decently well on this type of iPad, which makes me very, very happy. So if you're planning on installing iPad OS 18 right now, I highly would not recommend doing that. But maybe in the next coming you know, months when it gets official, then maybe I would recommend installing it then. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything, I also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, till then.